corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Today we're highlighting some of the underutilized comps that really helped gain an edge this week. We've got everything from low-cost scalers to taco generators. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. Um, <laughs> underwhelming personalities. Uh, we'll, we'll go with it, you know. We'll see how that does for us. So far, not great. Uh, I don't know if it's the personalities or the beaver, but one of them not cutting the cake for us. But we do got... I mean, a level 2.33 repeating, of course, beaver coming in here. I guess we take these. Okay, so starting out here, I think we're going to run a puppy. I think puppy's great. I would like to get this Hercules beetle going as well. I mean, honestly, Hercules beetle might be one of the better tier twos. I think Yak is also pretty okay. You know, in a pinch, um, especially because we have Cucumber in the pack, so for the most part, you know, you can pretty safely run a Yak, just don't level him up, <laughs> just keep him level 1, because I get it at the end of the day, adds 2 attack each turn, kind of for free, you know, he can't have a held food, but that's alright, not everyone needs one. Um, Hatching Chick also pretty good, though we are about to lose our puppy, so I could see the argument there. But I think Hatching Chick is kind of just OP. In like, <laughs> every sense. You gotta get enough of him though. If he sticks here as a level 1, not that great. Even level 2, he's okay. You know, it's 2 two, or 2, but it's not incredible. Rick Astley. I think he might have to give up here, unfortunately. <laughs> Not living up to his name there. I don't know who we want to put this uh, lasagna on here. Maybe we just toss it here for now. There's the puppy, glad we... Well, I guess we could have taken it anyway. We could have a level 2. But we really need to find a cucumber here. Or a level 2 puppy. That also works, we'll take it. And now we have a penguin. Now, it's weird. I can see some of you saying we should sell the hatching chick here. But, you know, maybe we'll keep the puppy, I don't know. The issue here is that the puppy gives toys, but I also want like an old mouse maybe? But I think for now this makes the most sense. Keep it simple, stupid, as wise people have once said. Okay, netizens. I don't know what netizens are, but they are not winning. That's what they are. <laughs> That's what I know they are. They're gonna get lasagna next turn into another puppy. Holy moly. It's coming along. Alright, I don't know if we need two, but there's our cucumber just in the nick of time. But yeah, at this point we're really... We're riding the, the lasagna puppy train, hoping to get some more hatching chicks. It's unfortunate we're still level 1, no permanent scaling yet. Um, looking alright though, I mean all things considered, our team is pretty friggin' strong. I think in no small part to the 15 attack yak homie up front, now he's a 1911. I mean, let's be honest here, I think we just go triple puppy, right? I mean, we could greet it. I just don't like having guys frozen in the shop, you know? I like to keep my options open. Gives us a little Triceratops as well. Still level one hatching chick, but we're getting there. But yeah, you can see how effective the Yak is becoming here. He's basically gonna one-shot anybody he runs into in the front, which is, you know, pretty significant. That's nothing to scoff at, especially with such a low upfront cost. He's a level 2, or a tier 2, so you just toss him in there, give him a cucumber at some point, point. you just let him go. Worry about the rest of you guys, we do find the hatching chick. That's incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got a good feeling about this. Everything's just kind of slotting into place here. Um, we are, I mean... We're buffing two units we don't really care about with the penguin. 
but at this point I think it's too late to get rid of the puppy. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Again though, look at this, we're kind of killing it. Okay. I mean, are we really going to be finding the level 3 hatching chick? <laughs> Probably not. But do I still want to play it? Yeah, you know. The greed is real. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think, actually, hold on. What if we just... Do it like this. Oh, frick me, dude. <laughs> I was, alright. Yeah, you all saw the line. I'm sure you all realized the math, too, that I didn't, but... <laughs> You ever just like, it's always when you change up your plan last minute that things start falling apart. Every single time. You're running down this line, you're like, hold on, this is better, and then it's not. You, you, you know you missed something, you just don't know what yet. Alright, so we're running like this. Um, the hatching chick will get the Triceratops level 2, so we get our penguin buffs guaranteed there. Um, short of that huge misplay last turn, I think we're still in a good spot here. Is what Florian always says, you gotta, you gotta slow down. <laughs> I really do need to slow it down. Um, I don't think that would've, well maybe that would've mattered there, I don't know. I'd have to run the numbers. Okay, what if we tried doing something like this? Another hatching chick? <laughs> Um, yeah, let's get the level here. And I guess that probably wasn't... Yeah, because you probably want to not run a four stack, huh? Are we just going to side stack a whole bunch of Triceratops? Is that going to be the play? The next turn we can get a level two out of the gates? Yeah, maybe we try that. Now, I'm not going to argue that that's the best play here, but it sounds kind of fun. So maybe we go for it. I mean, is working. Is not not working. Okay. We could also run a T Rex, but I think this sounds fun. And now we can put a mushroom on basically. I mean, just the Triceratops, right? You could put it all the way back, right? But then it's like, is it really doing much? Is the penguin really going to be trading into anybody? Probably not. You know, if you get a ton of Triceratops hits, maybe. Okay. And... We are definitely gonna be good. Yeah, I think this is it. <laughs> I mean, alright, let's just take a second here and appreciate the, the yak. Because that guy went hard. <laughs> he got huge, and we didn't give him anything to work with. I I never like seeing a double Baku. Unless it's accompanied by maybe a bluebird or a moth. Because then they're like more able to trade into stuff, but... Okay, I guess the geese weren't much better here, were they? But it's not like, it's not like the Bakus would have been great. It wouldn't have saved us there. Double Groundhog is not typically what I'm shooting for. But we do get two levels and a cricket. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Fade in here. Um. Oh man. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? Yeah, the Groundhog can't be in the back when there's another Groundhog. Today I learned. I was today years old. Oh, you know that trend? I mean, early camel's just a win, right? If we just sell you, get an early camel with a hatching chick. Like, I don't think that can lose on turn three. I mean, obviously, it probably can, but I don't think it will. <laughs> we'll put it that way. And it doesn't. The underwater fellows ain't underwater today. Hmm, that's tempting. That is very tempting. 
Are we doing a double worm kind of vibe? I mean, we could side stack some homies. We could just like speed run a camel, maybe? <laughs> Surely that can't backfire, right? In before it backfires. Okay. Oh, we've been rewarded by the worm gods. All right. Don't mind if I do. And we have just enough gold for two apples on our camel. Okay. I think this is probably going to end well for us, right? At least to the mid game. Nobody can handle this much camel, right? Like, it's just impossible. And then every turn he gets 3-3, three, three, assuming we spend 4 gold. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's that exciting. Let's buff the worm. I don't know if the hatching chick is staying. Uh, I, I can't imagine it's, like, the best start. Holy moly, brother, these worms. Did it just rain or something? Y'all ever do that? <laughs> side note, side note, but, uh, when it was, like, when you were young, Maybe older. When it was raining and you would just like go outside and catch worms that like crawl up out of the soil because it's too wet. Is that just me? Ah, oh, we should put the puppy brother up. See that one? Meant? That used to be one of my like favorite pastimes. Just walking around catching worms that slither up out of the ground. I don't even know why. I didn't do anything with them, I just put them back in the ground, but there's something fun about it. Is the 1-1 one, one really worth it for 2 gold? I can't imagine it is. Like, eventually you gotta start doing something, right? Ooh, another worm. See, now I kinda wish that I sidestack the worms. Get 2 level 2s instead of 1 level 3, you know what I'm saying? This hatching chick probably needs to go. And by probably, he, he definitely needs to go. I don't know why he's still here. I have a, a so soft spot for hatching chick. I've come to realize. I just so badly want to make him work. Um, I mean, we can just use everything here, right? Yeah, do something like this. We'll combine the worms next turn. Okay. I mean, let's just, let's just take a note here. The camel is huge. He's level 1, granted, but he's huge. We can fix the level. We can get him level 2 pretty quick here. Uh, make sure we don't overwrite the, the apple. And then we can go here. You know, those are pretty terrible. <laughs> those are some pretty bad tier 6 units. We could try for a seal, I suppose. Another penguin. I think it's time to ditch the homie. As much as it pains me to do so, He's just not holding his weight here. Cobra, on the other hand. <laughs> Cobra could be kind of good. That's one of the things I want to try. Cobra Elephant Seal. Not Elephant Seal, that's just a normal one. Cobra Seal seems very good. I haven't seen like hardly anybody running it this week. But the seal can just give him a ton of attack. We also have tacos to give even more attack. I feel like it could be pretty solid. Um, probably just leveling penguin here, I would think. Maybe look for another seal or more penguins, perhaps. I don't know, you're spending nine gold for an extra two two per turn. I guess since we're on five wins, that might actually be worth it. Don't hit the dory, don't hit the dory. It hit the dory. That's unfortunate. Man, I swear, anybody besides Dory and that would have killed. We would have gotten the win there. Okay, we got two best apples to go around. I kind of feel like we want to start cooking up the seal a little bit. We throw penguins in the mix. Maybe we throw it on the cobra though, because he also needs some health. You know, you don't want a full glass cannon cobra because there are some snipes. Not a lot, but some. 
like this homie over here. Well, they got a lot of snipes, actually. None of them hit the cobra, but still. Okay, maybe now we start on the seal. Maybe. Or do we just get rid of the seal? We could also get the penguin to level 3 here with the crow. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Who are we really looking for here? Mm. It's a tough one. Let's keep running seal. Maybe we'll find the penguin anyways. I just don't like spending five gold for a penguin, you know what I'm saying? Not that exciting. We will freeze tacos. Like I said, tacos are pretty solid. Looking good, I think? Yes, okay. We're at seven wins. Got more apples. I think now we start just cooking the seal. Look at that, how many is that? It's two, four, six, eight, nine attack. Every time we buy uh, tacos and get a little bit lucky. But was already to 28 attack. That is phenomenal. Let's just keep in mind here, our camel is, <laughs> he's doing pretty good. Our camel is cooking up something nasty over here. He's almost maxed out. Another tacos. Dude, we're getting really fortunate on these taco hits. Oh baby, dude, this is so over. If we don't win, well, I guess we're not gonna win this turn. <laughs> if we don't get two trophies from this battle. <laughs> but still, I think we're gonna be in a pretty good spot next turn. So we get the level up. Jeez. Okay. Um, we'll go here to start. Freeze everything that we want so they don't get overwritten. Um, we can't quite get the level up here on anybody. But I think we just go for stats. I think it's better like this. We'll save this seal for the taco play. He's not even level 2 yet. Oh, dude, it's so over. Oh, <laughs> it's so over. We even survive with the one health on the Cobra. Alright, was that the seal or was that the camel? I mean, the big camel up front with the, the Cobra, definitely a play. It's kind of an early worm angle, maybe. We did get very fortunate with the worms. I don't know, you, you tell me, you decide. Who was the MVP of that one? Okay, I feel like the, the whole... Steel Cobra thing, we didn't really get to investigate fully, because our seal is only level 1. And I kind of feel like if we can get him higher level, that strategy, strategy could legitimately pop off like crazy hard. And again, I feel like nobody's running it. It feels like a solid strategy, fairly consistent too, but nobody's running it. What am I missing? Or what is everyone else missing? Maybe that's the better question. This is a very upsetting <laughs> turn out here. <laughs> it's one of those, just roll. Just roll it off. Mm -hmm. We win. We actually win against Wavy Ranchero. Dude, I remember the first time I had a ranchero sauce. Bro, there was nothing ranchero about that sauce. <laughs> that sauce was very upsetting. I would I was upset. Not feeling it. I don't know, ranchero just sounds so like festive and lively, you know what I'm saying? And then the sauce is just not. It's just like this. I don't even know what it is. Is it just this, like red? An enthusiastic something or another sauce. Whoever came up with that as an idea, we're just gonna have to have a talk. <laughs> we're gonna have to have a stern talking to.
Oh, man. I love that the bluebirds are still here, by the way. This feels a lot like last turn to me. In that one, we almost got our seal going, so maybe... Maybe we get it this time. Goose cooking as usual. Just get a whole boatload of worms. We'll see, we'll see. Um, we definitely take the level up here. Old Mouse. Is Old Mouse? Um, yeah, I think we try him. We should try Dory at some point too. I don't think now is the time. But I think maybe Dory could do some work for us. Okay, so taking a quick recap of the team here. We got a pretty solid, oh dude, that moth just murdered us. Now I'm sad, I can't even look at our team anymore. They're all dead. We got a pretty solid setup going here. That is horrible. Um, we'd have to get insanely lucky to even have a chance of that working. Maybe we just run a camel. Again, I kind of feel like we're just imitating last game, <laughs> where we got an early camel worm combo. But maybe that's not bad. We won. You know, maybe... Maybe there are worse things to imitate. Okay. We get a camel level. Wish. Dude, these are terrible. They're just absolutely atrocious. So now we have kind of the opposite. I feel like this is the antithesis to our previous game. <laughs> where we have a low... Oh, I can't afford that. We have a low-leveled worm. We have a high-level camel. And nobody has any stats. I just can't imagine a world in which that goes well for us. I'll be honest. I'm trying to, I really am. And it is going okay right now, but I think that was a, an unusual game, perhaps. Uh, I mean, when in doubt, just throw a whole bunch of grapes out there, right? I mean, we could try the seal. If we really want to full send last game. Oh man. We kind of have to do a buy sell here, don't we? We have to make sure we get this toy trigger. I guess we don't have to, but it is a good amount of stats. It is pretty solid. Do what you really need? Dude, he has the big camel. Now he's making me look like a fool. Just kidding, we win. <laughs> nice try, red zone. Well, like I was saying, what you really need is an old mouse leviathan. That is the OG combo. We will definitely have to try that one. I mean, that's pretty good. I, just, I don't think we need old mouse here. I think we're sending the, the seal I guess we actually got kind of lucky there, didn't we? That the seal didn't hit the old mouse right before we sell him. Oh, dude, come on. We got lucky, and then we got unlucky. <laughs> we got... We got bailed out of our four plays, and then we got sauced by RNG. See, a lot of these battles are going to be decided by the size of our front homie. And at this point, our front homie is not that big. He's actually looking quite small. Needs to hit the gym or something. Need to go through like a bad breakup. Um, yeah. This is probably ain't looking too good. Well, okay, we're good, we're good. He only had two twos. Hmm, okay. I mean, there's a cobra. 
I don't know, do we want a cobra? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> not until we get... Okay, maybe now we do. I was gonna say, not until we get a level up on our seal. But now I guess we can send it. Now that the seal is actually giving some meaningful amount of attack. Okay. We're not gonna do the camel cobra yet. We gotta we gotta give the cobra a little time to get his bearings, you know what I'm saying? It's a dub. Against underscore willy underscore. I almost rolled over my better apple. That would have been unfortunate. You just can't imagine that camel's gonna do it for us. Do we ever just ditch it and run a T-Rex? Is the camel actually doing anything for us? We're not scaling him anymore. And he's only gonna get worse from here. Oh! Ooh, okay. We got double tacos. Yeah, if you think about it, the seal is kind of just another taco. Alright, don't hit the cobra. See if I care. I do. I definitely care. Oh, dude, we win with one. Or we survive with one, I should say. It probably didn't matter that much. Maybe it did. Okay. So at this point, I think we're just hard spamming foods into our seal. Not held foods, because I kind of like the... Let me get the level up here. Um, no cobras, unfortunately. But I kind of like our, our grapes on the seal. That extra little bit of gold actually does does help out. Okay. Oh, that is a... Oh, dude, that is a dirty breakpoint. I don't think it would have mattered, because he's got an enormous shark back there, but still. That one hurt. Double T-Rex. Anything better? Double Cobra is better. Not that we level up any, either of them this turn, but... Next turn, we're gonna be cooking. Um, quality Snipe, good job, Cobra. Do we get through this? Yes, we do. Okay. That was almost a little close. Alright, so we go here. Um... Because we could get the T-Rex level, but I also like the mushroom here. Because that's gonna, I think, guarantee us another snipe, in which case we don't want the T-Rex anymore. Yeah, I think this is better. I like it. If there's some way that we draw, we have a setup for a Cobra level 3, potentially. Oh, dude, yeah, we're cooking. Oh, we're cooking. Oh, I love it. Cobra Seal. Love to see it. And we got that. Dude, I kind of forgot the goose was still there <laughs> this entire time. <laughs> He's just doing his own thing. I love that this is the team we get a goose achievement for. But yeah, I mean, the Cobra Seal are the two that defined this team.